Good morning everybody, it is day 5 in Chiang Mai and today we woke up super early, like 6am early to get ready because right now we're driving up to another mountain area. Have you guys seen the movie Maxinkia Luking? Then you guys know what I'm talking about. We are driving to Luking's house. So then we're gonna be going there and I'm just gonna be just chilling with my family up there and hopefully get some good shots, some drone shots as well and um, just kind of chill and hang out and then we're gonna come back to the city area of Chiang Mai and then we're just gonna like chill there at a hotel go go like shopping and stuff that's today's plan and then after that tomorrow we're gonna be driving to Vientiane so then that's that's the plan for today and tomorrow all right guys so we made it to the Doi Intan National Park and these have the waterfalls that descend down we're going to the Meiya waterfall now Beautiful waterfall. Hi guys, this is the Maya waterfall. Guys, this is not a green screen. This is real life. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, we are heading out now on our way back to the car. Whoa, my ass almost tripped. Oh my gosh, on our way back to the car now. Oh, it's so beautiful here, guys. Like, I really don't want to leave. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. Right. We're gonna eat some lunch now. It is 10 40, I believe. So, we just told her to make us some uh, fried chicken. Fried pork, some sticky rice, and some. If you see her making it, she's making papaya salad for us. And we're watching them play soccer. <laughs> we just took a one hour car ride to go look at another waterfall. <laughs> so, once you get to the top of these stairs, you get a spectacular view of the waterfall. It is gorgeous. Look at all these beautiful pictures. It is beautiful. Look at this. It's gliding down. So I came out to get some ice cream and just chill here, admire the view. And it's just, it's just, it feels good, man. It feels good. Like, I wish you guys were here to feel this the experience with me, but it feels good. Like, the waterfall, it's like really breezy, so like the water is like catching on to us. And then um, there's a rainbow. No, but if you don't know, but in the Hmong culture, a rainbow signifies a dragon. That's all I know. That's all I know of what a rainbow signifies as. Um, I'm not quite sure why it signifies a dragon, but I'll let you guys know more later. Um, but all I know is that it signifies a dragon. And dragons are like good luck, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Oh, now my family's coming back down. Do you see them? They're right there. You see them? They're right there. My family's right there. They're coming back down. Ugh. I think after this waterfall, we're gonna go see um, the King Kia Macy's house. Or the King, the King Luce. We're gonna go see the King Luce after this. I think so. I'm gonna start lighting me again, but I don't know. That's my dad. So now we are at the Doi in Chinon National Park. This is the highest point of Thailand. It's crazy how cold it has gotten up here. This is the Angkor Nature Trail down here. Still in the Doi Intanon National Forest. Shiny Zahan! Chonna Zahan! 
do some Matrix stuff up in here. Will Smith up in here. Let me see. Limbo, you got limbo. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the trail of the Cloud Forest. I wonder if I could find the Jade Palace from Kabu Pedal up in here. Nice stretch, nice road. We are walking right into the jungle. Going through the cloud forest. It's really chilly up here. I recommend bringing a jacket. I think I already said that like five times already. <laughs> no, it's the highest point of Thailand. Yeah. The highest mountain is probably Mount Everest. Uh-huh, it's um, beautiful. Nice. Really, really nice. So happy to see all kind of chill. this kind of nature. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm all in my oh, that way, yeah. The nature is that beautiful. That <laughs> so now I'm on top where the temple is. And it's just gorgeous. The view is just beautiful. We made it to the other side of the temple. Very windy. I'm trying to catch my breath. It's really windy. Oh gosh. There's some monks here paying some respect. I'm about to go inside. But first, before you guys like, you gotta take off your shoes. So when you come inside, you want to take off your shoes, take off your head, take off everything. And if you want to pray, you gotta kneel like that. You gotta pray. There's some of the monks over right here. Taking pictures. <laughs> then they have some... Some stories. Four holy places of Buddhism. I gotta talk really quiet because it's like your voice echoes a lot when you talk really loud. So, on the way back down, we stopped by the local Hmong market here. It's so nice, yo. Wow, you need to let you know, Tina. This is so baby. Catch you, you are. This is so baby. 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 You are. ไม่ได้ก็ไปดูอ่ะมาเชนเนี่ยนะจะไปเอาเลยชาชาเดี๋ยวมึงไปกันต้องนั่งอยู่ด้วยให้ตัวโหดาโลเฮ้ยมึง
What up, everyone? We are at Lu Gang Lu Well, not his house house, but like, you know, we're at, we're at the place where they filmed it. You know what I mean? You get what you get what I'm saying? All right, cool. All right, we're at the place where they filmed it, and it is called the. Uh, if you guys can see it, right there. It's called Three Plum Waterfall. We're gonna be leaving now. Lu Qing Lu Waterfall, no. Bei Mu Lo. So we ran into this uh, little clothing store on the way here and I'm trying on the Hmong hats and I asked my aunt does this hat match me right and she said no it's too big on you <laughs> sadly I think it is a little bit too big on me too <laughs> it's okay there's a lot of Hmong hats here <laughs> <laughs> 